What's up, Trey Swimmer? Welcome back to another video with your boy Trey Dub. It's an honor and a pleasure to have you back on my channel for another video. I'm back again with another reaction video. Man, this shit is crazy. I watched like the first three seconds of it and I already know this nigga is a snitch. I snitched on the whole hood. It's crazy. I'm about to, let's just get right into it, bro. I can't even. Me, See, that's the part I heard. He already oh, snitching, bro. He said names and everything. Oh, the bro. Is this really? 18, See, they must see. See, they must know where you. They must know where you live. They must know where your mama live. They must know where your sister live. Grandma, cousins, uncles, aunties. Family, friends, because it's no way you about to you you this scared, bro. Unless you just scary, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. Nobody about to go and be this scared, bro. Somebody don't know where you lay your head at at night, or don't know where you always at. You know what I'm saying, like, or I don't know, bro. But this shit. Damn, bro. Hey, you might as well. You might as well. They gonna tell me that I can't speak on their block. Bro, you might as well go sign up for a police job or position at the force the police academy, bro. Might as well be an undercover and just you know what I'm saying? You might nigga, you snitching, bro. You might as well get paid for it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. They gonna tell me I can't speak. You got to pay me for this information, so man. Come to my live video. Put me on salary. You know what I'm saying? Cause say, not nah, all the homies know you a snitch, nigga. Still broke. I'm gonna see you. So nigga, that nigga told me he don't care about me going to the laws. He come to get me. That nigga tried to call me this morning. Hey, man, nigga, I better go to the police. Last this time, nigga, nigga uh, academics ass, ass I, nigga, I, I bro. Responded. I ended up in jail with a felony, man, with a aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, man. And so the best thing to do, I'm going to go. All right, man. I mean, all right, all right. So, so I get. Man, it's a whole many different ways you could have went about this, bro. But homie said he ain't trying to go back to jail. Last time something happened, he had to pop a nigga and went to jail, caught a felony. So he don't want to have to do that no more. But at the same time, bro, you don't have to announce to the whole world that you're going snitch, God. Damn. How is it that as a community activist, I done went down to City Hall and I done addressed the mayor and everybody about the violence. I'm on social media talking to my people about the violence, and all of a sudden here come the Crips and Bloods, guys like Body L and Little Evil and them. They want to come to Truman Street. He said his name. In the, in the, in the 4, 43rd Harvest Street, Gangster Crips coming and tell me what I can and what I can't speak on, and they the ones causing the violence. They the ones getting them kids to go. Harvest Street Crips is the one with all that hair on that's being sold over there on the house side. They got dope houses and got that fentanyl over there, man. If the feds want to get in the good bus, nigga, Harvest Street, Crips is where the best bus the feds can find. They got fentanyl over there. I mean, y'all know how dangerous fentanyl is? And they saying I can't speak out about it. Well... Oh, well, no, you told yeah. everybody you announced it to the whole world. Now all they gonna do is move it to a safer location. And then I stay from down at the class today. So that's what I'm gonna do until we can get these Harvest Street Crips off the streets. But you just go go knock at their door and be like, you gotta get up out of here, bro. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah, they playing like they're the biggest and the baddest. I know what's the bad motherfucker. You know, we going to game you and everybody go to mess with y'all. Y'all know some crips and things right here. This the number you call. Bro. <laughs> if you need police, oh, call this. Oh, 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 this
almost having to kill somebody. Like, he probably scarred, like, for real. He probably was real gangsta nigga at first, and then he had to smash somebody up. And he realized he ain't about that life. He a nigga went to, he gave his life to Christ. What you talking about? That nigga is talk different, everything. Nigga that made the threats is a big old fat motherfucker. He a big old nasty looking fat motherfucker. He ain't just no, he a big old nasty looking fat. And he hurt me with your big old In the Harvest Street Crips is a very violent, they're a very vicious gang. They known for drug trafficking. They known for they known for, for gun trafficking. Them niggas do pro they pimp and prostitute over there. Them niggas got heroin. They got crack. They got X pills. They got ice. Nigga, they got all that on the mother. Man, don't trust them law. They ain't gonna do nothing, bro. Nigga, you a motherfucking liar. Nigga, the police been protecting me all my motherfucking lies. Nigga, you lying to me. Every time my mama had been broke in, nigga, the police done went and arrested somebody. Nigga, get your motherfucking ass on. Talking about don't trust them. Nigga, you don't trust them. Nigga, when I walk through the door, the police hug me, nigga. Fuck you talking about I hug the police. Fuck, don't trust the police. Nigga, I don't want to trust you. Let me block this. <laughs> This nigga is goofy as hell. Hey, at least he honest, bro. A lot of niggas wouldn't say no stupid ass shit like this. Same man, the Harvest Street Crip, boy, they got that heroin, they got that cocaine, they trafficking guns. Said that shit already. Sound to me like somebody roughed his ass up, or you know what I'm saying? I don't know. He said he popped two, or popped somebody, left half a body. I don't know. But this nigga, this, this is no good. Snitch on 10, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, well, it's your boy Trey Dunn, man. Hope you enjoyed the video. Not that video, this video, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.